Linux Mint 22.3, Xena, Beta. What's new and should you test it? Linux Mint 22.3 Xena is here in beta. Big cinnamon improvements, better troubleshooting tools, and a few quality of life upgrades that make Mint more polished than ever. Let's unpack what's new and whether you should try the beta. Hi, I'm your host from Ask Linux. Today we're covering Linux Mint 22.3 Xena. What's changed? What matters for everyday users? Upgrade notes. What this release is. Linux Mint 22.3 is a point release in the Mint 22 family and is being published as a public beta for testing. It's built on the Ubuntu 24.04 series and will be an LTS-style release supported through 2029, so it's intended as a stable, long-term platform rather than an experimental spin. Key Highlights 1. Cinnamon 6.6 .6, Redesigned menu and better input Wayland support the Cinnamon desktop receives a refreshed application menu with configurable sidebar elements, symbolic full-color icons, an improved keyboard and input method handling, iBus support, and Wayland compatibility. This is the biggest visible change for daily users. 2. System information and system administration tools. The old system reports tool has been expanded and rebranded to give USB, GPU, PCI, and BIOS pages handy for hardware troubleshooting. A separate system administration tool, runs as root, now exposes a boot menu editor to manage boot timeout and kernel parameters. Great for multi-boot users and anyone debugging hardware. 3. XAP Symbolic Icons, XSI. Linux Mint introduced XSI, XAP Symbolic Icons, to restore and extend symbolic icons used across Mint apps, this prevents missing icon regressions and standardizes the look across themes. 4. Nemo File Manager Improvements Nemo now supports a template manager, more accurate search, better thumbnails, and, importantly, the ability to pause slash resume file operations, copy slash move. That's a real productivity win. 5. Other Practical Improvements Timeshift can pause snapshots, Warpinator adds IPv6 and text messaging, a new nightlight applet, including an always-on option, per-app panel notification badges, and many small applet-slash-workflow refinements. Under the hood Underneath, Xena uses the Linux 6.14 kernel series and the Ubuntu Noble 24.04.x package base which helps keep hardware compatibility and long-term support consistent with the Ubuntu ecosystem. Who should try the beta? Testers and enthusiasts who want to help catch regressions and file bug reports. Content creators who want early access to new UI changes, menu, Nemo, cinnamon behaviors, for tutorials slash first look videos. Production users should wait for the stable release. Betas can contain critical bugs. Always test on a spare machine or VM and back up with time shift. Upgrade and install notes. The beta can be installed from the official ISOs, mirrors listed on the Linux Mint blog. Upgrade instructions from 22, 22.1, 22.2 to 22.3 will be published after the stable release, and the beta will be upgradable to stable when it's released. Back up first. Troubleshooting and bug reporting. If you test the beta, gather logs and use the new system information pages to copy device IDs, driver names, and BIOS details. This data makes bug reports far more useful. Link any crashes or regressions to the Linux Mint bug tracker or the forums. Pros and cons, quick. Pros, mature LTS base, meaningful desktop improvements, useful admin tools. Cons, beta instability risk. Some users may dislike the redesigned menu. There are early threads about reverting it. Closing. Linux Mint 22.3 Xena is an iterative but important update. Cinnamon gets polish and practical features arrive to improve everyday workflows. Thanks for watching and I will see you in tomorrow video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe for daily videos. Bye.